Hey Legree fam, this is Heather Perrin. I'm Shani Lee Scott. We're master teacher trainers for Legree Fitness here today to show you some tips for carriage kicks. Love a carriage kick from a platform. It's either an elevator carriage kick, it also relates to an express lunge carriage kick, one of my favorite ways to find Legree shakes. All right, so Heather, right foot to platform facing forwards, left toes to anchor the carriage. The further back she steps, the harder it is. As you can notice, it's a lunge down for one, slow for two, nice for three, and slowly four, beautiful, really strong. Then driving through the heel of foot to slowly rise up. Notice the back ankle really high. You wanna make sure the feet are hip distance apart. Don't tight rope the feet. The knee should not roll in at the front. Really important guys is leveling the pelvis up. That's why it's great to be upright like this. You can notice your hips into the front mirror. Once I corrected that in my form, I actually got rid of sciatic nerve pain. It was a really crucial detail I'd miss when I was leaning forward, hiding my pelvis away. Good, so I'll get cont uh, Heather to continue on just in full range until we hit that carriage kick. I just wanna touch on how, um, how fantastic the Legree stretch is in an upright body. So notice Heather, she has an open hip joint. She's not leaning forwards right now. If you're to lean forwards, guys, what happens there is it's like sitting down. Your hips are comfortable to extend the spine up slightly like Heather has, it's a really big hip stretch. So it's, is it comfortable? No, but is it good for you? Yeah. So if you can't bear the stretch, you could always lean forward a touch. You could step the back foot in closer. All right, let's hit to carriage kick where we will lean. There is a chance to lean. So you get a hip stretch break. All right, so holding down, Heather's gonna pause right now, fingertip to the handlebars. As we get people to lean into the handlebar, they like to sort of lean the knee too far forward, hunch the spine, collapse a lot of things. So let's correct it out exactly what Heather's showing us right now. So sitting the weight backwards, knee over ankle, popping out the chest because it likes to hunch in the upper back. You gotta pop the tailbone out. So you'll elongate the hamstring, drop the right knee then deep so it's stacking. Level the hips up. From a rear view, you could see the hips like to drop. So we need to level up on that left side, really lift up on the rear ankle, draw the abdominals in, and then creep the weight back as you pull the carriage in, pulling it in like a catfish from the lower abdominals. And that's how you find those Legree shakes. So good right now. Exhale to draw it in for one and slowly two. Good, keeping this neutral spine on a diagonal and not in a posterior tilted pose or a hunching thoracic spine. Really nice work, so good. For 10 and nine, here's eight and seven. We'll keep the back leg straight in six and five to four, three, two and hold. Let's get it to sweep her hands back to the hips. Extend the spine up, take a breath in. Beautiful, really strongly back to full range of motion. Guys, carriage kick, that's where it's at. Notice the different angles. Thanks for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.